So, um, <laughs> hold on, hold on, whatever. So, dear, dear Lord, one second. <laughs> are we going to pray before this, dear Lord? Um, we should. Thank you, thank you for bringing us here today. In the island of dead sages. We decided to continue on to the island of dead sages before the kraken arrived. <clears throat> Aranus finally tells me what the hell's going on with some skulls and all the crap with Doomhand and all the other stuff y'all's been dealing with. And we learn about Skull Force coins. And we see an image of weapons, of a dagger and a bow. And a some writing up near some tombs saying Skull Force Assemble. Um, we open some of the tombs and there's an axe inside, one with a circle. There's another, it says, here lies Gabriella, who apparently was a green sage. And we see all the old characters who have, all the old people who have been the sages over the time, over the years or over the ages recently. We see Rena. You see all of Matt's characters, because I don't remember all the names of them, because we only had a few sessions to try and remember them. Chevrit? Ivo? Uh, no, Ivo no. was Mike. Melrin. I didn't have that many. You guys are exaggerating. You had Melrin. You Melrin. Had, uh, Valley. Valley. Oh, Valley. And, that was the one I couldn't think of. And, and Lizard yeah. Guy. Oh, yeah. Pliskin. Pliskin. Pliskin and, was my favorite. And uh, RIP. The sage pops up and says, I am the chosen protector of the sage. Or a giant skull pops up and says, There, I'm the chosen protector of the sages, and tells us the whole story of the skull force. And basically, give is like the uh, can't remember the names, whatever that the dude's name in Power Rangers is. That's what the skull is. We're done. Yes. The bald blue guy? Yeah, I couldn't remember. <laughs> I just remember like, yep, if someone comes in and tells you everything you need to know, you're all good. <laughs> you're Power Ranger. Hurrah. We lived in a tube. <laughs> <laughs> and we realized that Tevrit was not Skull Force Ninja. He was just one of our aides. But we do discover that Oxidon's tomb empty we do discover doomhand's tomb empty wait was the loxanon's body in the tomb um it was it, uh skeletal remains remains of oh yeah, yeah. So her, her remains were there but doomhand's yeah. tomb was completely empty yeah and we all chose to take on the skull force ninjas coin is bound to our soul. And the only way we can get rid of the coin is to die. Skull force till we die. And we we learn that we have to be down to half of our health to engage our powers and say it's morphin time for the powers to kick in. And right take a lot of damage at once and as we're doing this discovery and realizing kraken's coming we sit down try and formulate a plan and all of a sudden the water goes black we oh yeah the i blasted Aaron with an arrow yeah. i forgot about that we send the turtle and the ship off till we call for him the, the kraken awaits you guys got cool points. Remember the cool points? No. Nope. So you guys get awarded. You guys have your own feet, and I'll have to send that to you so you can upload it in it. But they're called cool points. A cool point, um, it's not that right. A cool point is awarded to those who do things that are cool, specifically in role play situations that are determined by me. I have one of those. And I, I will. Uh, 
award that. For example, like sliding or some shit. I think that was a cool, a cool thing um, when you slip down. But you guys got four cool points, which are um, exchanged for XP at the end of the game, uh, determined by a roll which will happen after that. So right now you have three cool points. We'll just do the exchanges for XP at the end of this one. We I have a note that I have two cool points. Did I get an extra somehow? No. And okay. Points are individual. You, yeah, you, you can have, you can possess up to five cool points at a time. I have here that there were three cool, uh, cool points. I guess, Matt, you have two. Aaron, you got one cool point for doing your slip and slide um, that no one saw. <laughs> I don't remember what I did, but I'm glad I did it. Hey, man, that's what being cool is all about. It's true. So you and Aaron are alike in that in that sense, since no one knows. True. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the water's getting dark, and are you, the waves are crashing. And all of a sudden, the waves sort of start to settle down. It's rock. Now, now it's time. And um, the ship, you're looking at, there's a crew over there with your ship. You have Thes Duzos and a bunch of other characters on that ship. With and, the two side ships. And you have a turtle um, way off in the distance. Uh, that's just sitting, most likely um, watching and, and afraid, um, as I would be if I was a large squirtle. Um, and the water is still. Huh. OK. Um... We, we can still try and buy our way out of this. Said he wanted magic items. Apparently that rug wasn't good enough. I don't have anything to offer of any reasonable, any that's certainly nothing better than the rug. I'm you a... have, Matt, you actually have a legendary chest plate. Oh, it's true. I do have a legendary chest plate. So don't say nothing. Hold on one but second. I'm not going to give it to him, so it doesn't matter. That might not be your choice. Well, um, that's true. I'm not going to give it willingly, I should say. And, okay. Um, the clouds above you are starting to turn dark very, very quickly. It feels like um, it could start to rain at any moment. And before I ask you to roll for initiative, um, is there anything you want to move anywhere? Do you want to do anything? I'm yeah, gonna, I'd like to do. I'd like to do one last thing, if I can, please. I will give you um, time one. To, like, can we? I just mean, can I cast a spell? Like, while we're I'm in gonna, the, like, I'm gonna cast. Even. I'm gonna cast commune with nature. And I'm, I'm gonna tap my head over and looking over at um, uh, Lone Star, and in my when when he establishes connection, I'm gonna be like, I do have a ring of Earth Elemental Command. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll be anything he wants, but Spencer needs to tell me something. Yeah, because I've briefly become uh, knowledgeable about the surrounding territory, uh, so land within three miles of me and and things up to 300 feet below me or above me and gain knowledge of up to three facts of the following, including I'm going to pick powerful celestials, phase, fiends, elementals, or undead, prevalent <laughs> plants, minerals, animals, or peoples, and uh, influence from other planes of existence. 
Good call. Excellent, Good call. excellent, Jake. Um, <laughs> it's a great Good choice. Choices. <laughs> All right, so you can you want to know where the, the closest land is? If within no, field? no, I need to know the about animals, plants, and things, as well as other powerful celestials, phase, and elementals that are within three miles or three hundred feet below. Okay, um, there is a very very large uh, gargantuan. Um, godlike titan of a kraken underneath uh, the waters. It's so massive that it's not just underneath your awesome. particular area. It's also underneath closer. Do you know the locations? I can. Uh, well, I'm. I'm being. I communed with nature, so I know everything about what's in within three it's, miles and it three. It is uh, underneath the ship as well. How how far beneath the ship? Um, it the water is very is shadowy. That's it's got to be so less than fifty feet. Yes, and this thing is like not a mile wide, but it's several hundreds of feet wide. Um, hold on. All right. Well, you know what? I don't need to know the specifics because mm -hmm. it's obviously the largest thing that is here. You're going to hear, um, <clears throat> in your mind, you're going to hear, uh, <clears throat> ah, let's, he's, he's going to say, oh, you have telepathy. Um, I'm gonna hear. You're gonna hear. You're gonna hear. I'm waiting for you. And uh, you also know that the rocks that you're standing on um, are from the last time you, if you remember, um, I think one of you fell in and noticed that the rocks don't go down to the they're like floor. floor. They're, they're wow. magic. They're magically floating on top of the water. I believe. Yep. Um, you know that this is a sacred area. You also know that there's no amphibious life around that area. Um, that's uh, because of the fear that they'll get consumed by the Kraken. You do, however, know that there is a turtle um, to your to your to your backside. I guess. Are there any influence from other planes of existence? Um, yes, that would be, uh, the skull celestial body that is around you, is okay. what, not necessarily around you at the moment, but of, of the place, a holy celestial body. The whole, the whole world that we're on. Uh, no, just the, just the temple, the, uh. The sage area that you're at, like the the skull that was talking to you. Okay. Yeah. All right. I that's what I did. Okay. I have something way less exciting, but I still want to do it. I'd like to cast <laughs> air bubble <laughs> <laughs> on myself. So I'm gonna basically create a 60 foot spectral globe of fresh air around myself for the next 24 hours. Sprock, did you cast water breathing for us? Oh, you did? I don't know if he did. We were talking about it. Oh, shit. I wouldn't have done that. Well, I don't know if he did. Casting what? Did you cast water breathing? No. That can last for 24 hours, so you could have done that before. Oh, right. Well, yeah, I guess I, I did. It's up to you if you would want to. Well, I mean, can't we still use his air pocket? It's fine. Yeah, Yeah, we just have to be near each other. Uh, you have to be near me. That's fine. Yeah, I also then, already cast it, so. Well, then Lone Star, that's perfect, because Lone Star, right in the center where we are, is going to cast Rope Trick. Pull out a rope and cast Rope Trick, and you see this. Let me read the exact you see this three foot by five foot window centered in a loop of rope right about uh, two feet off the ground. And it's an extra dimensional space that only we that I 
can see so all of you guys can go inside. Um, the extra space can be reached by climbing into the rope. The space can hold up to eight medium smaller creatures. <laughs> so we can, inside the rope, we can view the outside space. But the outside space cannot view inside or access inside. Right. So it's a little three foot hole that we can go into for safety if we need it. All right. Well, knowing what I know about what's below us, I am going to definitely cast water breathing. And that spell grants up to 10 willing creatures. You can see within range the ability to breathe underwater until the spell ends. Affected creatures also retain their normal mode of respiration. So we can all breathe underwater for the next 24 hours because I have a feeling we might end up in the water. We got um, some air. We got some water breathing. We're good to go. Let's do this. We got a hole. Okay. Uh, we got a hole. Yeah. Just as you guys are finishing your last uh, bit of, and you all get that five extra HP. I like to imagine that while we were all preparing, Aranus has been punching himself to get, <laughs> to get ready. The more everyone's like casting spells, like doing tricks. Especially yeah, after like, he gave me stop. five HP, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> The water grows black and dark, and the clouds uh, turn almost as gray. And a, a familiar um, character jumps out of the water, and he's sort of floating a little bit um, with his feet just, just, above the, just above the rock over here. Boom. Mm -hmm. It's the Kraken Priest. Oh, this motherfucker. This fucking guy. He, he says, out. he says, heroes, are you ready to pay your tribute? <laughs> I'm going to tap, tap my go over to I Lone pay Star. no like, tribute to you. I'm going to be like, fuck it, Lo Lone Star. I think I'm on the wrong rock. I think he's on the other side. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try, let's try and see what he's telepathically. Let's, let's see what he wants. Maybe it's not that much. And we could be good and just not have to deal with this shit. Ask right. him. Find yeah. out what he yeah. wants. Yeah, ask him. Ask him. Friend or foe. He seems Let's like he might be friendly. Um, everyone roll initiative. Wow. <laughs> Trying to be peaceful here. <laughs> that feels like I'm prepared way too much to let you weasel out of this motherfucker. Eight. Hey. It's like, you know 19. I can hear you. Oh my god, goo hole if you natural 20. Kraken Priest yeah. got a 16. Chris mm -hmm. got a 20. 20 for a 20. 20 for a 20. And uh Kraken Priest is 16. Aaron? Aaron? 12. Matt? 19. Jake? Eight. Um, Chris. Yes. I award you one cool point for your natural twenty. Thank you. Um. Okay, so Chris, you have first response to that question or actions, however you want to. Well, if we're just going right into it, Lone Star will telepathically connect to this being say I'm always willing to talk what what are you looking for specifically I I some of my people here aren't always the brightest so we have to be specific with them the Kraken priest is going to say let me be the vessel of voice for my master and he's going to use his action to cast Voice of the Kraken. And the Kraken is going to be speaking through him. And everyone needs to roll me a charisma saving throw. Right. Come on again. It's not terrible. 19, baby! I'm going to give Sprock... Um, a plus five if he fails. Good, because I rolled a five. I also rolled a five. 
Oh God. You have to beat a 14. Oh, so you can, Sprock, you can add five to yours. Charisma, you said? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, oh, yes. Saving throw. Sweet. Where is that thing? My flash of genius. So I got a 16. Okay. So Matt failed. And yeah. Jake failed. You guys are um, frightened of the Kraken for the next minute, which is 10 turns. Uh, and that means you can't move toward him. And he's going to say, uh, the Kraken is going to begin to speak, and he only speaks through um, telepathic, telepathically to you. Um, and he knows common, so that's the, the language that he's going to use. And he's going to say, um, I want your magic weapons. And just to show you the seriousness of the situation and the magnitude of my power, watch me. Watch me now. And um, who's got the perception? Sprock. Sprock, give me perception. Mm -hmm. Twenty-six. Um, <laughs> you're gonna see everything. Uh, <laughs> he sees through him. You're gonna see. <laughs> How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tentacles pop up around the uh, turtle. And um, I have to roll initiative for the, the Kraken is last with a seven. Um, and he'll go let me do the turtle now Ooh, the turtle is even worse with a six i am getting my bad rolls out now um so the so these uh ah, yeah, this seven, seven ten yeah. come up. matt um chris it's uh matt you can do something but you can't move toward uh oh disconnected server yeah. Yeah. Same here. Yep. Matt, what would you like to do while I reload? Um. Is is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to cast Hunter's Mark. So I now that I can see the Kraken. So a creature I can see within range is mystically marked, and until the spell ends, I deal an extra one d six of damage, but also. I have advantage on any wisdom uh, and perception checks uh, like involving him or to try and find him, whatever. So that's my bonus action. And then I'm going to talk to the Kraken, I guess, since Chris didn't seem to worry about it. Um, uh, do you have telepathic powers? Oh shit, no. You can. All right. He can. The, the talk, that talk is only one way. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna draw my bow and I'm gonna fire at the crack. Oh my god! <laughs> fuck this, fuck you this guy. Are, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it happens. You have uh, you have disadvantage. Oh. You have disadvantage on. Um, you know, let me. I have to close out of this. You have a uh, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks for the next ten turns. Okay. Disadvantage? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I'm. Okay, I, you're, I'm you're afraid. Oh, I'm such a little bitch. Oh, again? Yeah, it's just against the kraken, though, right? Thing disconnected again. Correct. 
So that's not that against the Kraken's assistant. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to. Mm. It's true. All right. So I'll fire at the Kraken's assistant. Why not? Um, okay. Uh, what are you firing? Longbow. All right. Um, let me pull them up. Roll for a hit. Uh, I rolled one 14 and one 18. So the 14 hits. Okay. So I assume the 18 hits as well. Yes. Um, okay. So that's... he's big. There we go. Uh, 12, 10, and then I get an extra 1d6 on each attack. So that's another seven. So that's 29 damage. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. I forgot. Sorry. The hunter's mark isn't on him. I lied. It's 22 damage. Okay. Uh, all right. He is not happy about that. Good. He takes a hit. So you shot an arrow? Two arrows. He takes a direct, uh, two direct hits. And uh, his body sort of just absorbs it like he's being almost uh, held up by just magnitude of force from the beast below. Um, if that makes any sense. He took 22. Um, yeah. Okay. Kraken Priest um, is going to start saying, um, watch me now. Uh, and I'm going to roll for the tentacles. The tentacles the got, got a 15. So that's right there. So the way I'm going to do this is the tentacles are going to have their turn. Um, separate from the Kraken, but their total hit points um, detract from the Kraken's main hit point. So that it's a little bit more interesting to play. But um, they are still a part of the Kraken, correct? Yeah, yeah. So if you hit if you hit the, the tentacles, right. Which, right. Which, hold the, which hold the same magical everything, it's just okay. that they have their own separate hit points. Cool. Just the first form of the boss. Yeah. Nice. And... Let's see. He is going to he's going to conjure up um no, he's not gonna do that. He's going to move. Kraken Priest um, is going to jump in the water. And he's going to be moving his speed, which is 30. And he's going to dash over to the where you are. Arrows in chest. Uh, how much did we do? Uh, we, did we do? Are we doing inches? Yeah. So 10. 20 and let me see if he has enough strength to to get up what did we do last time an easy strength check i think the 10 or yeah it was it wasn't high we just rolled really bad yeah yeah um well so did he so he is stuck in the water um and that's what he's going to do the tentacles there are uh Seven of them um, are going to attack the turtle. Um, oh, fuck. And there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, no, we'll get over. Oh, wait, what was his name? And they're going to. So far away. Yeah, oh, yeah. What do about that? So I've got a plan. Oh, I'm not wearing my shirt that says, don't worry, I got a plan. Well, hope it works. It works, baby. All right, here. 
plus 17 to hit melee weapon attack. So, so that's, what's the turtle? What's the turtle? Here we go. This is Crosby. Crosby failed a deck save, causing him to get smashed by a giant alchemist in the Shadowhide realm. Don't be a Crosby. Roll high and subscribe. So two, one hit, uh, three hit, uh, five hit, and we got one more, six hit, the turtle, the poor turtle. What was the turtle's name? Um, turtle, wasn't it? Turtle was Myrtle? Myrtle the turtle? Myrtle, I believe. Oh, oh no, it's not Nargoda. Nargoda. Oh. Nargoda. Myrtle. Um, and that is going to deal uh, 3d6 plus 10. You got to do that times seven. I can't do this. So I want you guys to hear the turtle screams. Yeah. He's going to say that. And I want you. Yeah, I want you to. No, I'm saying that. I want you to channel your rage. As our friend dies horribly. Dice roll calculator. Sorry, this is taking a while, but I guess I just don't care either. Um, uh, what is it? I do care. I care a lot. 3d6 plus 10. Fuck it. So 13, no, that's 23. Um, I do that times 13, 24. This guy's not going to survive this, I don't think. Um, 20, 7, well, ooh, 22, you see these, uh, tentacles lashing and, and hitting, not, not the shell, but the skin portion of the turtle, and blood is starting to come out, and he knows where to aim. Yeah, this is his waters. Six, seven, eighteen. So now I gotta add all that shit up. It's so much fucking math. All right. <clears throat> you know, math is my is my go-to, right? That's like my So are all the tentacles right now that we can see all surrounding the turtle? The ones that you can see are at the are at the turtle. Okay. And how far is the turtle from us? Um hun uh what is 118 divided by 110 what's 113 uh 22 feet so this was 20 feet so i don't know 100 and something feet oh wait it's 113 <laughs> Turtle is also frightened of the uh, Kraken, as he also heard that. Turtle is, uh, what does he have? 150. Turtle's on his last limb. Turtle's not looking good. Fuck. But he's there. He's, he's there. still alive. He's there. His, he's uh, there. His, his head. His head. His head is this. The uh, ship. The you see people falling off. You see um, people. You hear people screaming. You uh, see his head is his is barely hanging on. Um, there is a tentacle wrapped around his neck. Uh, he is barely keeping his head above the water. And it is Aaron's turn. Um, uh, I really want to get over there. <laughs> um, okay. Well. Uh, oh, uh, do I have this bubble? That lets me breathe air. 
Did did that happen? Did what what? I'm yeah, sorry. that happens, but it's only for sixty feet around me. Oh fuck! Oh right, and then uh, Jake, you did not give us the. No, he did. You can you can breathe underwater. Yeah, you can breathe underwater. All right, I'm running. <laughs> I'm going to. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run and dive into the water. Sploosh. Um, swimming frantically towards the turtle. That is a fucking bold move, I will tell you. Um, <laughs> where okay, so you jump in, you, can breathe, you can breathe, you can breathe underwater. Um, give me a perception check. All right, let me do that. 16. You are able to see a massive creature, huge creature. Um, you can't really di discern w w which is head at the moment. Things are happening so fast. There are other tentacles down there. Um, you don't know the number exactly um, with that low of a perception since the water is dark and murky and it is uh, beginning to rain around. Are any of them close enough, close, close enough to me to touch? From where you are, no. Okay. Okay. But the large majority of the creature that you can see is is underneath the the, uh, the turtle. Okay. Um, is uh, hmm. I can't, I can't really see. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. How far away is this? You are also nine inches. You also are able to see the Kraken priest sort of falling back into the water because he, he he's just not strong enough. Because he's what? He failed his strength check to get up on the rock. The and, uh, sorry, the Kraken priest. And he's right here. He is right there. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> just. Just one moment. Um, I all right. So I'm going to yeah. I'm going to jump and then land next to him and drag him under the water. Hmm. All right. So you want to grapple him? Yeah, I want to grapple him and drag him under the water. Your strength versus his strength. Okay. Let's go. Uh, do I do a strength check? Hey, I got a good roll finally. Do I do a, a um, saving seven. strength check? How do I how do I do I just roll? Your, your, your strength versus my strength. I got a 17. And I rolled a one. So <laughs> nothing <Ooh>. happened. <laughs> I, I get to watch myself was that, off of me. Was that a natural one? It was definitely a natural one. Do yes. Breathing yes. bubble around you? Uh no, I just can breathe. Right. He has water breathing. He can breathe underwater. Okay. Um, the Kraken Priest, um, you know what? You're not going to get anything negative on that one. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't think that's fair, because... No, that's definitely a good sign. You're going to need it. <laughs> Spencer's so unconcerned about about what you just did that he's not even punishing you. You know what? Fuck that. I'm using my I'm using some luck. I'm using my luck to reroll that. Hold on a second. Okay. Fuck, I I do not oh, like God. the way I don't I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> I'm gonna expend some luck. Let's go, baby. Come on. A four. All right. Well, I'm done. I uh, took away your luck now. Okay. Um, it is it. now Sir uh, Half Sprock Mess. Mind Flare Sprock is up and running. Really only one thing to do. Take out that bad boy. Take it out? I don't know about taking it out. Lip it out? I really wish that you lost your mind. That would have been sick. You forgot who you were and what you have on you. Mm, would be good. Uh, 
Uh, remember, Aaron is nothing. right next to him. Yeah. It's okay. Go in. He's right next He's to him. The the priest guy. The priest guy. Yeah. Was, yeah, but I'm not, and I'm scared of her. I'm not right next. Am I right next to him? No. No. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the group a cool point if we can if I can find the, the Kraken priest's name that would be sick. Hold on, let me look. I got it. Who is it that's on this pedestal with me? Is it Akaturpula? I'm no. there. No, that's the Kraken's name. Oh, that's the name of the Kraken. Yeah, that's all I got. I didn't write his name down. You guys can use your Talus nunchucks. I didn't get weapons yet. Wait, Matt, so you're here. Who's this other thing here? That's you, the Mind it's Flare. Lone Star. It's no, Lone I... Star. Oh, it's Lone Star. Yeah, Lone What's Star. What's the character's and... name? I, I didn't get to write it down. Ignis. Yeah. Ignis. Oh, Captain Barbosa is dropped onto the boat. Captain yeah. Barbosa. Take that fucking cool point. Take that. Oh... You're well, catching up on the cool points lead, Chris. I don't like it. Oh. Then do something cool. I know. I'm sorry. You're gonna roll a D10 and multiply it by your cool points. Hmm. Who's so, up right now? Uh, so it's, it's Jake. <laughs> yeah. All right. I can see the Kraken, right? Yeah. Um, you can see his tentacles. That are 120 feet away. But he's only 50 feet under the water. I can see that. No. Yeah. Well, right now, a portion of him is above the water. And yeah, he's about 50 feet under. You cannot, you can see, you can see. I can't see the part that's under, though. Yeah. You can see his look, like his general location. But you, like, if you're trying to hit his head or, or a specific body part, if it's a creature that I can see, and it has to be within 60 feet. Is he within 60 feet? No. No, because he's 120 feet away, but he's 50 feet underwater from yeah. him. Isn't that within 60 feet? No, no, no. So his distance from us is 120 feet. No. His body is... No, no, we his can't, tentacles we can't see are 120 feet. He's like a fucking mile wide, and he's under but, all of us. But you can't see something of him within 60 feet because the water is black. But isn't that... It's only black because I see him. And I know that because I know that that's how big he is. You can see what we're right. Oh, you do. You did commune with nature too. So, you yeah, know he did. Exactly where he, is. He, he, did where he, he does know where it is. Yeah. That like, would, I know that is cool. specifically. Like, like if you, if you were the size of this and like you were looking at me, like, yeah, you fucking know where I am. But, All right. All right. You ready, Spencer? You got to listen to this because I'm not sure what it's going to mean. Okay. I'm Captain. <laughs> I love that. I love that quality. <laughs> I am casting polymorph. This oh spell my God. forms a creature that you can see within range oh into a new form. Oh my God. An unwilling creature must make a wisdom saving throw to avoid the effect. Oh the spell God. has no effect on a super uh, shape changer or a creature with zero hit points. So I guess first make a wisdom saving throw. Of um, 16. Uh -oh. Uh oh. That's a good number. Uh oh. That's a good number. Hey, 14 plus four, baby. No. Damn. You get another chance, Shake. You get another chance. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> that was a that was a good click idea. That, click that, that spell slot good. though. I clicked that spell slot. <laughs> Transformation lasts for duration or until the target drops to zero hit points or dies, and it lasts for an hour. New form can be any beast whose challenge rating is equal to or less than the target's, or the target's level if it doesn't have a challenge rating. The target you just have to make it something that can't swim, so it drowns. The target's yeah. statistics, including mental so ability scores, are you have to turn him into. Something less than or more or equal to or less equal than. to or less than it retains alignment and personality. Literally, a really big bunny. 
Uh, well, I'm trying that I, spell. Stay <laughs> puff marshmallow man. Lucky for you, Jake, <laughs> it's the Kraken's turn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't know that I failed at a spell, does it? Yes, no, I know. It, it does not, but he definitely can um, speak some bad foul language to you. <laughs> um, okay, so Kraken is going to uh, summon a, he's going to use Lightning Storm. Oh my God. Um, and the target can hit you. Um, no, he can't do that yet. He is going to bite. You are going to see this sort of mouth open up and pop up right underneath the chin. All the tentacles are going to sort of wrap around this thing. Um, oh my God. And you're going to see it. Oh boy. This, Not my this, uh, turtle's neck, right where the tentacle was wrapped around hold right. a second does the do the people on this fucking turtle not get initiative do they not get to fire any of these cannons they, they are uh they are afraid oh, God. and they don't know what to do fucking bitches um and a 19 plus a 17 that hits and he's gonna take 3d8 plus 10 which i believe is just gonna no. fucking hit off Goodbye, guys. I hate killing non-real creatures that we care about because I spent a long time making them up. Literally, not not that much time, but um, 3d8. I said 3d8. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So you see this head. Um, you see this mouth open up. Grab it. You just see the teeth and just rip its neck right off. And you hear screams as a turtle is pulled underwater. Um, and he's he's gonna use his next actions to pull the turtle underwater. Um, and that's it. The uh, tentacles between uh, the turtle's turn is over. People are gonna jump off um and scream and that's where we're at so the turtle is gone goodbye it didn't work out there's floating debris um over there which we'll just i'll mark um with a marker just in case that comes in and uh it is chris's turn Chris, I don't, you might be muted or something. Yeah, I don't know. Is everyone afraid a little bit? What? He's just black in mine. Yeah, I don't see him. He looks black in mine, too. Nice. He's not Chris. He's scared, though. He ain't scared of nothing. He's not Chris in mine, so... Mm. Um, he would speak again, but his communication is uh, underwater at the moment. Although I guess he could speak. Whatever. Does that blow up your plan yet? Is the what? Nah, yo. Nah. Hello. Yeah. There you oh, go. You're back. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Back. Yeah. yeah. Fucking speaker. We can hear you. Oh, sorry. It was bedtime. I had to. Yeah. Yeah. Did all right, so you heard you heard the the turtle's dead. It got its head chewed off by the kraken's bite. Um. 
and the turtle is neck that it, it was consumed um, is taking some acid uh, damage at the moment. But it, it, he's dead. Okay. Is it my turn or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you guys skipped me. Would hope you did. Uh, is the guy right below us still? Yeah. I'm going to bonus action, give myself some temp HP, and then I'm going to cast lightning lore down at the Kraken's assistant. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not too late now. <laughs> Wait, do we like make peace? No. Um, I'm just, just sitting right there. Him. He's hugging, he's giving him a hug. I'm trying to okay. Get I'm trying to drown him. No, okay. Well, no, it's. On the creature I can see, so he needs to make a strength saving throw against a DC 16. Ooh. He got an eight. Okay, so he... How high up is that cliff? Uh, well, let's say 10. Uh, I think it was, I think these were 10 and this was 20. So could I get down to like a ledge that's like 10, 15 feet up? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'd climb yeah, down. Give me, give me an easy dex. An easy dex. Easy dex. Okay. Where is it? Famous last words. Yeah. He, I play. We're on. We're playing hard though, right? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to use my reaction to give a plus five to that. So that's a ten. Okay. You slip. You start slipping, but you catch yourself. Okay. So I'm going to cast the lightning lore, and try and he needs to make that deck save. He has to do a deck save. Yeah. Yeah. Deck save. The DC uh, sixteen. That's another fail. Okay. So he takes one d eight lightning damage. Okay. Um, is it just him or is it everyone? It's else? just him. Okay. Specifically a creature. So he takes seven lightning damage. Okay. And gets pulled 10 feet up in the air to me, towards me. All right. So he's he's levitating in the halfway mark of the He gets pulled up and then I let go and he falls right back down to the water. Okay. No damage. But he got set he got eight or seven. He got seven. Okay. Uh, I'll yell to him. You didn't tell me what you wanted. You just said weapons, not specifics. Um, he is. He and the Kraken priests are. You don't even know how old. So his um, mannerisms and choice of words and communication style are. It's like it would be like if you were to go into King Arthur's area and be like, "Hey, man, what's up? Show me your stuff." And he would be like, "Off with this fucker's head." Um, exactly. <laughs> shackle this guy. Uh, Matt, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to I'm going to draw my bow and, and fire right at this little bitch who's right below me. I knew it. That's one twenty-one and one twenty-five. I assume those both hit, right? Say, say that again. Which one? One. I got a twenty-one and a twenty-five. Do yeah, those both hit. Yeah. Yes, they both. All right. So he takes uh two arrows, sixteen damage. Okay. He uh, you see it. You, you you remember in uh, Lord of the Rings when um, the guy's getting shot with those big arrows? <laughs> he's, he's trying to move forward. Well, it's like that, but he's not trying to move forward. He's just getting hit by arrows. He takes 16 damage. 16, yeah. Boom, boom. He doesn't say ow or anything. Barely even acknowledges the hits. Um, but they're, the hits are obviously big thuds into his body. He's now yeah. standing four arrows. 
And lucky for you, Matt, he saw that. And it's mm. his turn. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, yeah, okay. hold on, hold, hold, please, hold, please, hold, please, okay. hold, please, hold, please. Um, no, that's all right, your turn, you, you go, all right. I'm done. Let's see what the range is, let's just, all right, um, he is going to uh, he is going to try to climb up. <clears throat> and I grab his hand. Hey. He climbs up with his movement. Uh, you're not grappled with him, right? No, you failed that. Yeah, yeah, no, you fucked that up. Dragging him under. I don't know if I was grappled, okay. grappled with him still. Um, and he is going to, so that's twenty feet. So he's going to come up right up to the to you guys. But I should get an opportunity attack. You may take one. Oh really? I was just fucking around. It'll be uh, with disadvantage since you're. Well, depend. What what kind of opportunity attack are you doing? Swing. I'm gonna pull a dagger out and swing at him. He's a disadvantage since you're in water. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll use my plus two dagger. Ooh, that nat 20. Oh, shit. And uh, 18, 29. So 31 and 29. So he takes all that damage? No, no, no. Those are my hits. Oh, that, those, those hit. All right. He takes nine. You got a dagger slice I, right in his back of his body as he was climbing up. You sliced him open. You little bitch. Um, and he's going to come up and he's going to look at Matt um, and Ignis. And he is going to um, touch Ignis. And he's going to use Thunderous Touch. Oh, that's not good. And he's going to say, Give me all of your magic items. All doesn't sound good. Them, all of the things you wear. And because I know you don't have anything, have this in return. <laughs> and he touches you uh, with Thunder Touch. And Thunder Touch. That's a move that does a 13 hit you. It's a melee spell attack. Who? Matt. Matt. Oh, me? Ignis, right? Yeah, Ignis. Oh, shit. I thought you were talking. Oh, man. No, it doesn't hit me. Uh, and I laugh what and say, you little bitch. What are the spell? <laughs> a spell, a hit for a spell is the same thing as a hit for your ace, your armor class? Yeah. Okay. It does not hit you. No, it doesn't. You see, uh, so you see a spark of uh, of electricity touch you um, on of your chest, and he's gonna say, "Ooh, I'll take that too." No, um, you won't. And it's now the tentacles' turn. Uh, the tentacles are going to disappear under the water. Oh, that's their turn. Um, and they are. Now it is uh, Aaron's turn. Aaron's. Um, give me a perception check. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. Give me, give me that perception. Fifteen. You see, um, the tentacles underwater. This guy is. It's they're moving, flailing around. Can I see them? Can I see anything that's close enough for me to grab? Or like to grab me? No, yeah, it's you. You you know that at the moment, um, there is no tentacle in your general area. Um, is is, is there it long tentacle? enough to reach you? Um, no, not not that it's long enough to reach me. Like, can you grab it? Could I, like, with my thirty feet of movement, reach a tentacle to attack it? 
Uh, no. Okay. Um, not not so yet. If that's the case, um, maximize damage. Go for broke. Maximize damage. Go for broke. All right. Go um, to him. Go to him. I mean, I want to so bad. Um, I'm going to swim over here. Uh, what is what's thirty in inches? Um, it's five for every inch. Five. Wait, it's one inch for every five feet. I think it's a an inch a foot. It's what we were doing, right? Oh, we're doing one to one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then I'm gonna use my movement. Uh, well, it's like half of my movement to get on top of this rock. So I need to do like a strength check over here. Not on, yeah, the, uh, the easy, an easier strength check because this is um, a smaller rock. That nat 20, baby. Oh, where was that when I was drowning this motherfucker? All right. Get up to the top. Um, and I'm going to yell out, Kraken! <laughs> oh, wait, no, what's his name? Sorry, hold on. I'm going to yell out, uh, Arcatubla, and or Arcatubla, because you got a nat twenty. Um, the kraken does not pay you any any mind, um, but uh, Bezduzos and Tevrit are going to appear on the boat. And we will be rolling for their initiative. Oh, okay. Look at them getting some strength because they hear me yelling out, calling out this fucking thing. Um, all right. Again, I am I am uh twenty feet away from the center rock where these guys are. Right, twenty feet and about ten feet up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna pull out my short bow and shoot this dude in the back. Of the the Kraken priest, yeah. Okay, uh, with advantage, right? The what is it? I'm shooting him in the back with my bow. He's engaged. And yes. Yes. Cool. Are you within? How long is your bow range? Uh, bow range is eighty feet. Yeah, you're good. Uh, so twenty four and fourteen. Twenty four uh, is. Yeah, they, they both hit. Was, yeah. We smack them in the back. That is eight. And hold on one sec. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm going to use my sneak attack. 20 damage. So 28 damage total. Okay. And then I'm going to yell out uh, Akura Tupla, we're fucking up your boy. Why don't you come face me? Manda Squid. Um, the Kraken Priest is going to, before it's Aaron, uh, before it's Jake's turn, he's going to say he's going to be, actually, you know what? No, the, the, the fuck the Kraken Priest. The um, Kraken is not going to say anything right at the moment because it's not his turn. Um, it is so you're trying to you're trying to lure him towards you. I just want to know what he took. He killed my turtle friend. Are you trying to convince him to come to you? I'm just mad. charismatically and I'm going to him. get the guardian. I am him. trying to punk him. I am trying to call him out in the middle of the park to come and fight me because he went after my little soft friend in the corner, but we were <laughs> all right here. Yeah, like a little bitch he did. Yeah, he went, to go, he went after the little guy, huh? You, you, you're so tough. You're so yeah, tough, right right boy. Here. Let's roll a um, charisma. Are you trying to lure him into you? Sure, whatever. Whatever, however you want to characterize it. Roll me uh, a charisma uh, check. Uh, eight. Uh, <laughs> you're going to hear 
him <laughs> communicate to you and he's going to say something foul um but he's going to say it in infernal you know what how to speak infernal does no. anyone know infernal does anyone know celestial i think i do i do yeah someone does celestial? Wait. Someone, yeah, someone knows before but it wasn't me uh, i did before i don't anymore wait where's let's get new celestial uh, Lone Star, no Celestial. No, oh, nice. Um. All right, Chris. I texted. I texted you what he what he says. Tell <laughs> 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 Why is that so funny? Chris I'll tell you Chris. after. Uh, it's Chris's I... after. Oh, it's not Chris's turn. No, I know. I know. No, I can't. I can't share anything right now. Yeah. Um, Jake, it's your turn. Aaron's still on his way, right? Do we see yeah. any tentacles? They all not anymore. No. Give me a perception check. Wait, what? 28. You see the, the, the blob um, sort of forming into a more solid mass um, and beginning to move uh, towards, hey, Benny. towards the ship. Hey, Benny. Towards the ship. Yep. Anyone still left on the ship? Yeah, you got. Um, yeah. We got a crew on there. Yeah. You have you have Chip, uh, Blank Skill. You have Chip and Blank Skid, who are the orcs. You have Uhorn and Tailheart, who are the centaurs. You have Brinskin and Donar, who are the minotaurs, who took damage last time, by the way, guys. Um, but I would say that they're healed because. Oh no, they were hitting you. They were hitting uh, Aaron uh, to try. <laughs> That's what happened. Um, and then you have Kev. Imp uh... Oh, and then you have Danny and Sally. Mm -hmm. And also, who are the Ubud? Oh no, you have uh, Jackson and Daxon. No, no, Jackson died last time. Ba you have Baxon. You have Daxon, the island guy. You have Donar and Brinskin, the Minotaur, Tailheart and Uhorn, the Centaur, Chip and Blanskid, the, the Orcs. You have Tevrit, uh, the Barbarian, and you have um, uh, Fez, Fez Duzos. Is uh, the ship more than 90 feet away? Um, the ship is exactly from me. Let's see what the measurements say. They, they did pull out a little bit, but I don't remember how far. The ship is 97. No, 71, right? Is that what it said? 97 feet away from you. But uh, what are you trying to do? Well, 90 foot is the range, so that doesn't work. No, it does not. You can move, though. risk an opportunity attack, but he's not engaged with you. Who's engaged on the rock? Well, you guys love these magic items. Gotta say. Who's engaged on the rock? Who's engaged on the rock? Answer our question. I'm on, I'm on the rock. I'm on the rock. <laughs> Matt and, and the Kraken Priest are engaged on the rock. So um, it's sort of like take our stuff away. It's like, it's like Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery, right? Oh, but it's the Kraken priest. Yeah, and, and you're now fighting him. Yeah. Yes, I got him. Don't worry about him. Well, I got that shit. But what if? What's it? Do we know? Hmm.
what happened to what you did last time? That was going to be cool. Are you? Did you guys? I, I can't see. Anything? I can't. I, well, I mean, I know he's under only fifty feet. Mm, I, I guess we can't see him. I, I suppose I could do it again and see if it works. Try it. I'll morph that motherfucker. All right, we'll try again. Cast the polymorph. <laughs> You need to throw a wisdom saving throw of 16, Spencer. Hey, 17, my friend. No go. So convenient. So convenient. <laughs> he is wow. a legendary creature. He is. I could uh, just negate it. They are. I guess you could polymorph a tentacle because they have their own. Um, is that I, your turn? Can I still attack? Yes. Fine, then I'll extract brain. Ooh, he's okay. So, in order to extract brain, does he have to be incapacitated already? Yeah, he's got to be, he's got to, um, because the, the target takes a 27 or 5d10 piercing damage. Oh, yeah. But hold on. You can, yeah, what is your thing? It says melee weapon attack, intelligence modification plus proficiency to hit, reaches five feet. What does that mean, Chris? Chris. One incapacitated humanoid gra uh, grappled by the ceremony. You he has to be incapacitated and you have to have him grapple. So if you if you knock him prone... Um, and with your tent, your, the whole idea is like you use your tentacles to actually do the damage. Um, and the tentacles on your face, the gross things that are hanging on your face because you turn into a fucking gross creature from like the last three sessions, it's fucking nasty. These things are like hanging down and you use those to grapple. Right, so um, then I'm in a tentacle. Okay. So that's yeah, a melee weapon attack. And yeah, he's engaged um, and... You can you can have advantage on his deck. All right, one creature hit one d10. So I'm just rolling a d20. Yeah, but uh, you can. Yeah, it's your uh, it's your well, one one it's your intelligence modifier plus your proficiency to hit. Intelligence modifier plus my proficiency to hit. Where do I get that? Oh, plus four proficiency bonus. Yeah, it's a melee attack. All right, so then it is a 22. Okay, um, that hits. All right, so uh, one creature, 1d10 plus intelligence modifier psychic damage. I think if you just click on it, it's it'll do it. Uh oh. What do I? Uh, it's a one d. It's a one d ten plus four, which is your. You know, so that was the seven, and then I do this one. Got it. So it's twenty seven. Is the um, hit? Oh no, nine, nine, nine. Twenty nine. No, it just says tentacle damage is nine. Okay. Um. All right. He he. Uh. But you and you're aiming at his head, sort of. I guess. Um. Yeah. The target is medium or smaller. It's grappled. He is grappled. Escape DC eight plus on his turn. plus proficiency. Yeah, it's it's on his turn. So he, he is your your tentacles have grabbed him and slashes his head. Um, weird, weird that he's not bleeding as much as as a normal human would. Um, looks like he's almost like a fish. Um, not like a the fish don't bleed, but um, that like white sort of fleshy crap, um, sort of gray. When you cut open a, a live fish um and he's grappled to you it wrapped around your your tentacles on your face well then now i'm gonna extract the brain um he's gotta be uh i think that'll be your next your next turn though if if he if he doesn't get loose yeah but... is that the kraken itself that's wrapped around you right now no 
I wrapped uh, the, my tentacles around the priest, the Kraken priest. Oh, oh okay, okay, and, okay, and sorry. tore him down to the ground. All right, I just, I'm, I'm so, I just. He's got to be, he's got to be unconscious. This Kraken but, is being such a low inca bitch incapacitated about fighting me. Incapacitated doesn't mean grappled. It means um, unconscious or prone. So, doesn't this Kraken priest have tentacles on its face? It has its own tentacles that it hasn't used yet. So you're just like making out with this tentacle face? Yeah. Um, Jake has decided to grapple with the Kraken priest who has advantage on a lot of things when you're grappled to it. But that, it, listen, we'll get into that with that a little later. Get into that a little later. It's the Kraken's turn now. Um, and he's going to speak to you guys through um, the voice of the Kraken. Um, now it has not been 10 turns yet, so Matt and Jake still, you can't move towards the Kraken. But um, I, this is not in a voice of the Kraken action from the, it's just the Kraken speaking. Um, I, he'll just use mind, his mind thing. Um, he's going to say, I'm going to devour your shit. Unless, of course, you have some offerings for me. Motherfucker, this motherfucker in this fucking offering. He's gonna kill you. <laughs> and he's gonna use his movement. Um, you see the dark shadow. He's going to use his 60 feet of movement and he's going to use his uh, he's going to dash over to underneath the ship so now you see a large a large massive um body underneath the ship and uh the ship looks like it has been hit with something it goes up awkwardly out of, out of the motion of the water um and Thesduzos and Tevrit and the other crew members are are worried, and they are going to all roll a um, what is it called? And they're going to fail that with a, a morale check. check. A morale check. Yeah. So that's one morale check failure for the crew members before they decide to use the power of the, well, we'll see what happens, but they have a fast ship over there. Um, it is now Tentacle's turn. Tentacles are going to pop up around the, the ship. What ship? Oh, you fucking... I'm so pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. There's only going to be four of them this time. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? Let's. Uh, I um, hope. Wait, these know. guys. So they came back on deck. So they're not scared anymore, right? Are they going to start shooting these things? Do we have a roll initiative? There's only two of them. Um, no, they are fully aware that the. Um, that the Kraken is immune to uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks from the discussions that you had with, uh, I believe it was Jackson. Yeah, but the cannons. And the turtle. Oh, the magic cannons. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, I have to do this then. Um, which kind of, which kind of, uh, okay. Roll me. Um, so you guys have given given this these cannons, and there are two of them, um, and they are both located back here where the centaurs are. We'll just say the centaurs are here. Let's just have the centaurs man them, man them. Um, uh, 
and roll me, there are five of them. So there are four of you, everyone, uh, there are five options for magic um, cannons. Roll me, um, <clears throat> A uh, well, actually, it takes two. It takes two people to shoot a cannon, so it'll be Tevrit and uh, a centaur, and there's Duzos and a centaur manning the kraken, and one minotaur, um, shoving, I guess, helping with the aim. Let's just say. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. And what do you guys want to do? You guys want to? You guys are in charge of the crew, so you just let me know what you want to do. Although and I, I guess they're going to shoot the tentacles, so I would think. Yeah, yeah shoot the yeah. fucking tentacles. So give me a. Um... <laughs> this is the fucking rocket science. Cannons to the left of them. So cannons are, so Aaron, to the so right of them. So cannons to the front of them. So who's? Uh, That's so good. One. One uh, the way that the way the ship the crew works is that you have to give up an action on your turn to shoot the cannons. You'll use your roles on your side, um, acting as the people in the cannon. And you'll wait, we have to sacrifice our own movement. You have to the yeah. You have to in order for the crew the way that the ship uh, rules are. I believe you have to. Um, stack or, uh, forgo your turn and use it for the ship. The ship will have its own turn in terms of uh, well, it's not sailing anywhere because the captain's not there, but um, you'll have to forego your your turn um, and command the crew. So, like, imagine a turn of six seconds. You're saying, crew, shoot, the, shoot it, and then they listen to you and shoot. That's how that let's all remember how well fed they are though yeah they're fucking stuffed with those uh oh, stuff. now i remember how i got my cool points oh right the the food. Yeah. i forgot about that yeah that was <laughs> the half the half human uh food yeah that was good yeah it was delicious no we also <laughs> caught some big tunas hey got some tuna the tuna um all right so are you going to forego your your turn and have these guys shoot at the tentacles? I need to do all something. of our turns, or who's no, up? No, just one one per round. So if you guys, uh, what, to... can you tell us the turn order right now, like as it stands? I, I think so Chris. Who, is who's, whose turn is it right now? I don't know. No one knows. Oh, I think it's Chris. Kraken just the Kraken just moved. And the tentacles went. Um, it is the crew. The crew is you guys are going to use the crew, so I'm going to get rid of Tether, the mind player, for the moment. Um, it's Chris's turn. Uh, I'm going to take this. Uh... Sorry, Chris, hold on one sec. Uh, All right, can go you ahead. Just tell us the like order. So it's oh, you want initiative order? It's yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah. it's just... Chris, it's Chris, Matt. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake with the tentacles, but they didn't, they, they're there. Um, it's Chris, Matt, Tentacles, um, the Kraken Priest, um, Aaronis, or Aaron rather, Jake, Kraken. Okay. And so it's Matt's, it's Chris's turn now. So we're at the top yeah. of the order. Yeah, it's top of the order. I'm going to grab uh, the bag I'm holding. I'm going to reach into it and pull out wherever this rolls. Oh, what the fuck is that? I've never gotten one. I oh, know I have before. And I pull out another feather. <laughs> <laughs> and I hold this feather I take the bag of, I'm holding and throw it into the water. 
boards the ship saying, take this. It's the start of my offering. And I, uh, and that's my turn. Okay. All right. Is it me? Oh, and I take 1d6 piercing damage for reaching into the bag in combat. Because you just jammed your hand in there? Yeah. I take one. All right. So wondrous item. It's one. Okay. And that's your turn? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, Matt, your turn. I I mean, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to blast I, this little bitch that's in I front knew, of me. I, know, I, I knew what you were going to do before I even, you know. 21 and 28. We already know those both hit. God damn. That's 16 damage. Okay. You blast him with what? One? Two arrows. Two arrows to the chest. Two, two oh, regular God. arrows. This guy is pretty yeah. fucked up. So 16 damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's looking fucked up. I am also going to... I'm going to do nothing else yet. I'm going to wait a second. That's my turn. Okay. Um, Tentacletas. Tentacles are, there's two of them over here, are going to attack the ship, um, which has 224 health. Uh, oops. Wrong about here. And the tentacles are going to because they're just tentacles, they only make one attack. At some point when the Kraken reveals itself, they're all going to become one creature. Um, and the tentacles will gain um, multi-attacks. But I think we'll roll on that to make it to make it uh, livable, but we'll see what happens. Um... This is Rena. Rena rolled low during death saves and didn't get healed by his group. Don't be a Rena. Roll high and subscribe. Or not livable if everyone wants to die. So the crack, the uh, tentacles are going to attack with a 17 plus to hit. That's a 16 and a 16 plus 17. So those those are both going to hit. Um, they do deal double damage to objects. So uh, let me just make sure that's correct. Yes. Um, three D six. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take everything you have. This is going to be great. Uh, 3d6 plus. Uh, that's 21, so that's 42. And then 23, 46, so that's 42 and 46. He's Sorry, while well, he's doing math. Aaronis, where are you on the board? I don't see you. I'm on uh, this rock over here to the side. Okay. Like left of the ship? I know I'm saying left as if we're facing the same direction necessarily. Yeah, okay, I, I see you. You, I like moving my, oops, I just you see the uh, ship's wood and part of the handle of the ship um, collapse off. Uh-oh. Um... The, the people are still on the top, but sort of in the middle area. Um, ropes are flying off. Um, 
the men are going to be uh, on their turn, which will be, you know what, the crew is going to have the morale morale check at the end of the turn, at the end, end of the round. You know what, the crew should have a morale check based on initiative, um, which is going to be 16 right after the uh, pack increase. So the morale checks will be, um, let me just write that morale. And uh, the ships took some, a large amount of damage. Not, uh, give me a perception check. Uh, Aaron, since you are closest and you are also in charge of, you have a uh, proficiency in Ship maintenance in your uh, 16. Um, you are fairly uh, convinced that the ship is still saleable and not sinking. And you can write in your notes that you are proficient in uh, all boat repair and sailing type shit. In fact, I'll give that to all you guys. But if there's a, actually, you know what? I'm gonna individualize it. Aaron, you are you are proficient in repairing uh, vehicles now with your boat swain captain esque portion. So that's what you get. Um, it's the it's our friend's turn. Our friend is going to try to undo the grapple. Jake, what was the roll I had to do? Um, it was. One one is uh, escape is DC eight plus int mod and proficiency. Okay. Um, he is going to. Hmm. Oh wait, eight is so. Oh, plus my intelligence modifier and proficiency. So it's uh, 15, DC 15. He's got to get. I think I can. I think I can just cast Thunder's Touch on you because we're already touching as a melee attack. Um, well, first, he's, he's grappled. He has to get out of that. Yeah, all right. So what was it? What did I have to roll? 15, DC 15. Uh, for what, strength? I don't know. Chris, what does it mean? It's got to be, it's got to be, I got a seven, so that's, that's a fail. That's escape DC, yeah. It's a strength. Oh, so he's still grappled. Yeah, oh, he's grappled. It says, and must succeed on a DC 8 intelligence modifier plus efficiency intelligence saving throw or be stunned until the grapple ends. He is stunned. He failed. Yeah. Oh, are you hungry? Um, uh, uh, crew, crew morale save. I am hungry. Uh, success. The crew is not, for whatever reason, seeing the turtle scared them, but seeing the giant creature, godlike creature, attacking their boat, they're they're chilling. Um, Fez Duzos is using his communication skills, um, familiar with with you, Jake, um, of Quillif, to soothe everyone. It sounds like this: Quasol, chill, chill, chill. It's now um, Aaron's turn. <laughs> That's how you say relax in Philip. Okay. Um, I don't know. Fuck. This fucking crack. The fear, the fear is real. Here. This crack is so scared of me. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to call him out again. Like, where are you? Fight me. Face me. Stop being so scared. I thought you were the king of the sea. He's going to communicate back to you in your mind. He's going to say, give me your magic items. Come here and take it. I will sink this boat. Come here and take them. Come, come to me. Come to my face. <laughs> I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw another arrow. I'm going to shoot his envoy in the back again. 
Um, he's incapacitated, but that hits him. 26? Yeah. 10 damage, and I'm going to sneak attack him. 19, so 29 damage. He is really not looking good. I'm like, you're going to let your boy die up here? He's not going to have a brain soon. Yeah. Huh? You're going to let your boy have die? no brains. Here? You want him to have brains? He has resistance to all those attacks. No, I'm looking like, does the body of your dead body count as a magical item that you'll accept? I have not used that wisely. But he has been a good distraction. Um, as the Kraken would be using him as. Uh, it is... Oh, dude, did I give away too much? Um, Jake, it's your turn. I think I know what Jake is going to do. And I'm excited for it. Has it been 10 turns yet? No. No, that's not what I'm going to Um, I'm going to extract brain. Nice. Because he is, in fact, stunned. He is, indeed. Uh, so, melee weapon attack is 27. That's going to hit. Because it was a natural 20. Uh, one incapacity humanoid grappled by the center graph. Hit target takes 27 piercing damage. You if got a natural 20 on that? Yeah, I did. Ooh, you're going to receive some information. If this no. Does this does this uh, so damage? I want to reduce the target to zero hit points. The, well, how much damage does it take? Twenty seven. Yeah. So describe your kill. Uh, well, it says the Saramore kills the target by extracting and devouring its brain. So you crush his. So his tentacles crush the skull, and I, the brain sort of oozes out. Slices it open and then rips yeah. it apart and then extracts the brain and eats but it's, it. But it's all tentacles and your your eyes dilate. They dilate. It's kind of like Homer Simpson eating a donut. Um, and they dilate full black. And because you, you got a natural 20, you are going to receive um, a memory, which I'm going to conjure up right now for you on the spot. Um, you see the flashes of the uh, Kraken priest's life. Uh, you see him as a uh, a priest from um, in a town covered in in what looks like a, a dark cave like dome. Um, and the town's name you hear you hear just have memories of it. Um, the town's name was Tri uh, Trident, like the gun. Um, and uh, he was the priest of Trident. Flash forward a few years, um, he snuck out from underneath the ground from where his town was from, um, out of a blue flashing, um, what looks like to you as a portal, but you're not familiar with it. Um, flash forward and a, a, a few more uh, months, he is uh, fishing and trying to spread the word um, of whatever godlike um, priests he or uh, godlike religion he's been spreading um, in Trident, trying to gather worshipers down into Trident. Um, and he goes on a boat. Fast forward, the boat gets attacked by the Kraken. Fast forward that. Um, his body slowly turns, and what you're familiar with is similar to a uh, similar to a ceramorph. He sort of undergoes this sort of kraken um, magical transformation. He's been kept in a in a prison. You get the location of the crack. You know that the location of the kraken's um, whereabouts is. Um, It is going to be north of, uh, where's the map? 
there is the map. North yeah. of it's going to be uh, north uh, northeast of, and you get a flash um, as you as as the ship was sailing away. You see um, a familiar looking castle. Um, you because of your natural twenty, you'll you'll recognize it to be the the city of Brockville. Um, and you know that the Kraken's lair is for about a hundred miles uh, northeast of uh, Brockville. And then you see him transform into this weird, you know, his legs become jelly, his skin, he, he grows uh, gills, he grows these tentacle-like things that you have. Um, his skin begins to have those uh, flaky whatever the fish have. Um, and that's that's how he became who he was. So there's a town of Trident in the Underdark is pretty much what I'm telling you, where he's from originally, prior to transformation. That was a long time ago. Um, and you also see him communicating with the Kraken and the Kraken, from what you can tell, is only concerned with hoarding magical items to make himself And that's the information I have for you. Okay. It is now. Everybody else get that too? Huh? Everybody else get that too? You only got it. And I want to point out that Jay crit on both the grapple and the extract on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eat that boy. Jake, Jake, you get a coolness point. Oh, coolness point. I'll use that. Yeah. Um, it's Kraken's turn. Yo, Chris, what did you change your IG to? My what? Your Instagram. It's uh, Carly and Chris, but it's just for business stuff. I'm off Instagram now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's for Carly to use. Okay. Shit, it might it might crash. Um, Kraken's gonna reveal his face. <clears throat> Oops. Finally. Bomb, 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 bomb. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Guy thinks he's so tough. Won't even show his face. Seriously. Yeah, it's gonna. Crash. Oh look, his face, looking like a real bitch. Do you guys see it? <laughs> no, it's I, it definitely. Do got you stuck. see it? No, no it's <laughs> loading, but I do. It's it. loading. It's fifty percent. Um, it's all right. He yeah. he uh, shows himself in between the boat and Aaron, and Aaron. More tentacles are going to come up towards you. Finally. Finally, the rock. A true <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Finally, the tentacles have come back, come back. to the rock that I'm to standing the, To the temple of dead sages. Shut your candy ass, you dumb kraken. You dumb kraken. Before I turn my size nine elf boot, um, <laughs> the kraken is going to use this turn um to and now now the crack and the tentacles will be uh will be one so the tentacle is no longer going to have its own initiative as it has revealed its face and its true form yeah um the tentacles are not going to be able to attack the ship again until the kraken's next turn since they went before him in initiative order but the tentacles um with aaron uh next to aaron are going to attack Aaron. And the... Wait, it's not the tentacles turn. No, no, the tentacles and the Kraken are now one. The tentacles at the ship are not going to go. Um, they have moved, though, and so has he, so there's no more movement. Um, tentacle... I feel like, I feel like I'm gone twice. Huh? <laughs> I feel like there have been like four turns and I'm gone twice, but let's go. 
Tell these motherfuckers um, to attack. Hurry up. No, you're you're coming up. Um, the attack is a seventeen. Um, and yeah, that hits. That's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. I'm, I'm waiting for it. It's gonna hit good. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. <laughs> So much math here, I just want to die. Um, next time I just got around. No, I can't do that. Uh, 3d6 plus 10. Yeah, just round down. <laughs> just take the average. <laughs> That's usually uh, 22 damage. And you have to. Uh, Kraken Priest is dead, thank God. Um, uh, and, and you have to do a... Uh... Oh, you grapple. I'm going to use an uncanny dodge on that motherfucker and take half. Okay. So I'll take... You said 22, right? So 11? Yeah. 11. That makes sense. And I'm grappled? Yeah. Okay. Wait, do I don't get to roll to like not be grappled? I'm just grappled. On your on your turn, you can uh, escape the grapple. Because uh, he hit with the attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I have to close out of this. It, it froze. Damn. Maybe Jake, you're right. I can't. Um. You know what I think it is? I think it's just the uh, type of miniatures i'm using but it is now uh chris's turn so i'm going to rip the uh flamethrower that's on my shoulder off and throw it into the water and yell what more do you want is that and as i is that a magical item yeah it's a pyro converger what is it a rare magical item is it a wondrous it's a, a wondrous item uncommon Requires attunement. Okay. Um, and and as I yell, what more do you want? I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on the Kraken. Okay. This needs to make a dex, uh, dex save DC 16. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. A dex save? Yeah. A 17? DC 16. Ooh, 19, baby! I know. Well, I'm, I'm still asking what more do you want as I throw that oh, there is. pyro converger into the water. And that's my turn. Um, he's going to say back to you on his turn uh, later. It's Matt's turn. Okay, I got booted from the thing. Sorry, I'm trying to come back in, but it doesn't matter because this other fucking guy's going down. He's dead, he's dead already. Oh, he's dead already? He got oh, a brain extraction. He got oh, my God. brain extraction. Yeah, I extracted. Sorry. I was cleaning up. I didn't brain extraction. Um, oh. in that case, I'll I'll pivot to firing at this little bitch kraken that keeps disappearing. I'm going to take the closest tentacle. Sorry. You're gonna shoot uh, the Kraken? Yeah. Fuck this guy. Okay, I got a natural twenty. Oh. And a 30. twenty-nine. He should shoot the tentacle that's holding me. <laughs> you hit him for a thirty. With what? With my bow. He's immune to uh, piercing damage. Oh. So you Is it magical? Is it a magical arrow or a bow? Mm. I'm trying to look for anything that's not. Okay, he's immune to 
I think all of my abilities. So I am going to, yeah, okay. I don't know. I, I'll, I guess I'll hang you, out. You can offer him your, your chest plate. No, fuck this guy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Cracker Priest is dead. Morale of the crew is a fail. Another fail. Boom. Um, Aaron, it's your turn. Um, get this motherfucker off me. Uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> uh, what do I? What do I do? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I try to get him off me. A DC eighteen. Uh, for what? Uh, to get ungrappled. No, no, athletics no. or acrobatics? Acrobatics, athletics. Um, acrobatics. I'll let you do whichever one is better for you. Acrobatics. Twenty-four, baby. <laughs> I slipped out the I'm glad I didn't do anything. Ah, you could never I'm hold glad me. I didn't do anything. Yeah. You could never hold me. <laughs> um. So I slip out. And then um, I ha I wrap my amulet of the planes into my hand and I punch the tentacle with a magic melee attack. Okay. What's and you trying to do? So when I, so uh, you can use this spell to banish an unwilling creature to another plane. Choose a creature within your reach and make a melee spell uh, a melee spell attack against it. On a hit, the creature must make a charisma saving throw. If the creature fails to save, it is transported to a random location on the, on the plane of existence you specify. A creature so transported must find its own way back to your current plane of existence. Nice. Uh, it's all led to this. Let's do it, baby. How do I how do I make... Oh, I just rolled a d20, right? I'm definitely going to use a legendary... Go to your spells page. Oh, legendary resistance. <laughs> So go to your spells page, and at the top, it should say spell attack. Spell attack plus eight. Let's go, baby! So what does spell attack? 19, play? baby! To hit? 11 plus eight. Yeah, 19. Pew, 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 pew. So he has now, does that hit him? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Does, so now he needs to make a charisma saving throw. And the charisma is at 16, it says. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, my God. You're not going to like this. Oh, what the fuck? I got a natural 20. So <laughs> who's, going, who's going to what plane now, Aaron? Well, that's, that's not how it works. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were you hitting him with? So I was hitting him with the with the spell, but I guess if you so if what happened, I guess if you do, it, it comes from the necklace, right? Yeah. So I guess it just doesn't. So you know, it's plane shift. You're you're using the plane shift spell against an unwilling creature. Right, but it says on a hit the creature must be charisma. If it fails, but it doesn't say what happens if it succeeds. No, it, nothing happens. Oh, okay. So, then, um, so you missed. It didn't work, and you are now re-grappled with the um, the tentacle. Well. What the fuck? You, you punched it, and your hands stuck there now. Yeah. <laughs> you punched a suction cup. Um, you are restrained by the kraken, and he's not happy about your actions. Um, um, can I uh, yell out? It's morphin time. You certainly can. Nice. <laughs> you certainly can. You still have. I was half waiting for it. I'm like, fuck. Uh, it's morphin time. <laughs> Wait, are you at half your? Are you at half your life? Yeah, you guys, I'm at less than that. He, he, he started at half his life. He's at, oh fuck! Right. <laughs> our prep time. He was punching himself. <laughs> Just yell. It's morphin time. It's a bonus Shit. action. When you become a ninja, you are more powerful and also more vulnerable. You gain the following abilities as a bonus action. Um, as a bonus action. Uh, you summon your armor. Uh, so me thrill. You get covered in which one are you? You're the you're the red. You get covered in red me thrill, uh, ninja skin clothing and armor. 
um, you can dismiss it any time if you want. Okay. Uh, and it vanishes in, in a long rest. The armor grants you um, a 1d2 bonus to your AC while wearing their armor. Um, and you gain 20 temporary hit points while in your form. So you get 20 hit points back temporarily. Um, you lose those points when you're no longer ninja. Uh, you are more powerful, so your attacks uh, score uh, score on a, uh, a crit. You're, you get a crit on an 18 or a 20 uh, when you attack. Weapon uh, attacks against you score a crit on an 18 and 20 as well. Uh, you can use your action to have an attack uh, attacks damage against you uh, when an attack hits you. Um, you cannot use this ability if an attack against you is a crit. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Say that again. I can use when, what? When an attacker attacks you while you're in your armor, uh -huh. you can use a reaction to half the attack's damage. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Just like your uncanny dodge. Just like my dodge. Oh, so then I can half it and then half it again. So just no, because you have to use your reaction for each one of those halves. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. When an, uh, when an attacker completes a successful melee attack against you. You can use your reaction to make a single. You can also use your uh, action to use a single melee attack against the attacker. When you nice. like a power you retaliate, you like I don't know why I have to read this. It, it's so it's so obvious. When you uh, disengage from the attacker, the attacker gains a one d six damage. Uh, gains a one d six damage on a successful opportunity attack. So he gets a little bit more damage on a successful opportunity attack. Um, your ninja lasts for 10 minutes, so that's going to be until tomorrow. Um, and then, uh, if oh shit, are you within 30 feet of other people? They're only 20 feet away from me. Let me see. The rocks are 20 yeah, feet yeah. If you summon your armor, other ninjas within 30 feet of them can also summon their armor at the same time, requiring no action. Wow. During the same, during the same, uh, during the same bonus action. Yeah. But we're required me, to be under half health. You can later, right? but you can also no. thank me now. No. I can be full health and then <laughs> get this? Study. Yeah, it's got to be one, one. The way I read it is just it's just one person. Wow. Oh, I'll yell it's Morphin Time. Yeah, everybody should yell at Morphin Time. It's fucking Gotta Morphin Time. Your, Let's go. It's Morphin Time. Gotta wait for your for your turn though. Um, oh, no, because I want to <laughs> I want to have that recorded. It's Morphin Time. Um, and during during the same bonus action when the armor is summoned, the ninja can also summon their Skull Force weapon, um, which is I believe you rolled for it last time. No. Oh. No, you assigned them to us. I thought. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. You got. Oh, um, I have the dagger. I have the dagger. Yeah, I have the bow. Yeah, I have no idea what I have. Um, you have either. With the axe. Yeah, you have an axe. That's what you have. I don't think I have that written down. Yeah, Chris, you're an axe. Uh, Matt, you're a bow. Um, Aaron, you're a dagger, and weird. Alien Sprock has a long sword. Um, you have a one bonus, a plus one bonus to attack with your weapons. So you get a plus one on the attack with your weapons. Nice. And they are um, a 1d8 additional damage to the normal stat weapon stat. Um, so as a bonus action, or did I wait? I said it, it's more, I'm morphed as a bonus action, right? Yeah, or was that my second action? Um, no, you, you get to summon it. Uh, or was that my action? Sorry, whatever. During the same bonus action, okay, 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 cool. Uh, you guys also can form the Skull Force Ninja Cannon which shoots a roll of a 1d8 type of magic uh, shot at the whoever within 600 feet before or divided by two Ooh, or 400 feet of one target. 
So 600 feet for two and 400 feet for one. I think that's what that says. Um, and that's that. But you guys have to, you have to form the cannon when you're within five feet of each other, just like in the TV show. Oh, also, uh, Aaron. Yes. You gain proficiency in charisma. Oh, cool. I don't know what. Okay. And if you're already proficient in that, it gets doubled. What, charisma saving throws or just charisma everything? Well, Skull Force Ninja have a thing for flair, Chris. I don't know if you know that, but <laughs> um, they have a flair for the dramatic. And uh, you gain proficiency in charisma, specifically uh, charisma skill checks. Um, mm. And it's perform of the performance kinds is charisma slash performance. Um, if you're already proficient in charisma, you get uh, proficiency bonus. Your proficiency bonus is doubled. I gotta make that a. I gotta type. That's my next goal. Is I guess to type that out so that you have that as an object. I think. Yeah, you can create that. Yeah, that's easy. Um, all right, good job. Everyone's ninjas. Sick. <laughs> I didn't think you guys were going to be able to do it this time, but you did. More than time. It's sick. Now I have I get to I get to do this and make it in into D and D Beyond so that like you press the button and it does it. But no. also I get to go online and Hero Forge and make Power Rangers. It's gonna be sick. Oh shit! Oh, you should totally make a Power Rangers <laughs> version of my dude. Or you have you to guys, make you guys should make your own fucking versions. And I think we should definitely make our own. We'll make our own version. Uh, I'll, 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 I would like to make my Red Ranger. Thanks. No. Any excuse to be able to use the hero? The for me. I should have made a pink skull for for Matt. Fuck. Okay, so <laughs> I, I would have loved that. That would have been. I. You think that's bad? I think that's good. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's that. So now it's um. Jake's turn. Jake, you're a you're a Power Ranger now as well yeah. as a as a mind flare drow druid fucking like druid drow mind brain can't fucking talk only goddamn telepathy like just fucking two shit. more two more turns until you're not afraid. I'm just digesting a brain right now and having the oh, items from it. That's what's going on. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Is there anything else I could perceive off this guy since I know he's from the Underdark? You can or see search oh, him from. Oh, um, you know what? Yes, there is. Give me a perception check. Depends on your role. How does a 25 work for you? You look down, and in this guy's garment, in this guy's uh clothing. You see uh, a um, a little piece of paper, and if you use your one action to pick it up and read it, I'll do that. Um, what is it exactly? <clears throat> it's a small little advertisement that you can make out. And since you're a drow, you can read it. It's written in, what did drow speak? Uh, under common? I'm a drow. Under common. Under common, yeah. Um, and in undercommon there's an image of it's like it looks almost like a world war ii propaganda uh what are those things called a poster um and on With it, that stuff we used to eat back in the day yeah it's like you know those there's like the 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 army needs you you know um there's an image of a guy sort of drawn in a similar fashion as one of those dictators, um, uh, anti-communist type uh, mm. from the, from more like a World War II uh, pamphlet or whatever. Um, and it says, down with 
uh, hold on, I have his name somewhere. Moroses, down with Moroses, bring Moroses down, bring the dictator Moroses down. Come to Trident and bring Moroses down. Unseat Moroses, the fascist king. Okay. Guys, we're going to Trident. <laughs> Moroses. All right, well, that's my turn. I did my action. I read the re letter. All I right. get to get that letter, right? Uh huh. Uh, it's the Kraken's turn. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. I uh, hope he doesn't crit on eating you, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this crap up. Um, yeah. So a large or small creature that is grappled by a kraken, uh, that creature, if it's, oh, I have to hit you first. Well, he has to get the right aim for his mouth. Yeah. Um, this he's is probably just not allowed to grapple me because he got hit. That's probably what he's not allowed to do. But whatever, 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 you know. You know what this kraken looks like to me right now? Sushi. Is is the Dinner. that animal from Ice Age? <laughs> the animal from you know what? The, the, use... the one. Never he's mind. Gonna, he's gonna I'll use find the picture. Fling. He's gonna use fling. And he's gonna throw Aaron. Oh my Six... god. 60 feet in a random direction, knocked prone. What a bitch. So that'll be that way. But how does, okay, so what happens? Does he like have to, how, I don't know how that works. Um, if, this, if, if thrown, if th he just throws you, um, but you're not, you're not going to be knocked prone because you're not knocked against a solid you're not into water, so you're not going to be prone. Um, he just throws you out of the way, um, sixty feet. You can measure from the rock or from the from the tentacle to put yourself in the right position if you want. Um, if you're thrown against the a solid surface, you take a bunch of damage for every ten feet that. It oh is. yeah, that guy. Um, if the target <laughs> is thrown at another creature, that creature must have saved. Um, okay. So you're out of the way. He's also going to use um, a legendary action, and he's going to cast a uh, lightning storm. No, oh, no. And the lightning storm creates three bolts of lightning, each uh, 120 feet. The target must make a DC uh, 23. So everyone on the rock, <laughs> um, give me a DC 23 deck saving throw. Yep, I fail. I All fail. right, I'm gonna use my ins I'm gonna use my inspiration. I have one banked. Does my coolness point do anything? No. Um, I rolled an eleven oh, on the first one, Aaron, but I'm gonna you got a coolness it. point from morphing. That was cool. Oh, nice. Oh my god, fucking waste. Thirteen. So you I measured it. I measured the sixty. I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to see how close I was to the Kraken. I got some plans with this fucker. <laughs> um, Jake, I don't know if you have any special stuff from your... Uh... You do have healing words, by the way. But I don't know if you have any special things that from the Mind Flare that will help you with this. Um, let me see. How much, how much damage are we getting? You're getting 20 almost 22 so you get uh 40 10 which is going to be so seven plus so it's nine 17 and 21 21 lightning damage on a fail and half that for success
and he's going to repeat to himself, give me all of your magic items. And he's going to attack the ship again with his tentacles. Sorry, what was the damage? Um, it was 29. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. Jesus Christ. Uh, and he's going to attack the ship with the two tentacles, which do three. Uh, uh, it's just going to be three attacks. So one misses, one hits. Another one hits. So that's two. It's going to be double damage because it's a oh, did I use 3d8 plus 10 again. Who's up next? Chris, right? Yeah, Chris, you just go. I'm going to do the damage to this ship. Okay. Uh, I'm going to telepathically yell to the Kraken. Well, then come closer to make it easier for me to give you all this stuff that I've been giving you. Does he respond? The ship takes 52 damage. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's his response. Is trying to talk to him and he's thrashing the ship. Uh, um, well, do, at the start of my turn, do I get the free action to morph? Yes. Because I, yeah, it's morph for yeah. dying. All right, so I get 20 temp HP and all that. Yeah. Um, okay. And then I'm going to take off my crown and I'm going to chuck it at the Kraken. And uh, telepathically blast to the group. You got six seconds. And that's my turn. So Chris is, has warned you that there are six seconds. Um, there's uh, one more turn left uh, before you're not frightened anymore. And I threw him the, uh, crown, the crown, which is an artifact item, wondrous artifact item. He's got two wondrous and one rare. Well, they're all wondrous, but that was an artifact level. The other was a rare, and the flamethrower was an uncommon. Tribute. Kraken's going to say pay or tribute. So who's after me? Me. I don't remember what Chris's warning is explicitly, so I'm going to... I've had two whiskeys now. Um, I'm going to climb the rope and into the hole. What hole? Oh. My, what do you mean? Rope, a, my rope trick hole. hole. Yeah. But also, uh, could I have used my movement at the end of my turn? Yes. I would run and jump into the water and go as far towards the Kraken as I could. My wet owl. Yeah, your wet owl who's already he's he's been wet for the rest of your life. Um how can you how much can you move? I can move 30, so I just jump in and move 30. So I'd okay. Be, I'd basically be right next to Aaron in the water. You'd be wait, and Chris, you you, you said obviously. Do you want to be do you want to move right? half because you can move in any direction? Do you want to move halfway I, between the kraken? I, I, I want to go straight to the kraken as fast as I could. All right, so you're right next to the pillar that Aaron is on. Okay, perfect. And that's my turn. Chris, sorry, objects can leave the hole, right? Yeah, it, it's yeah, okay. for for you guys. It, it's it's free reign in and out. You can see in and out. You can shoot out of it. Right. Okay, I climb in the hole. After obviously, I give it a solid, robust pounding of my chest it's morphin time and i climb up the rope and hide immediately um and after i get up there i'm going to shoot the kraken with my now magical bow so fuck this guy okay 
Uh, roll me, man. roll me a uh, a one D. One D. Hold on to see what kind of magic it is. One D eight on the eight. spreadsheet I sent you, but I'll make those weapons for you to use on the thing. Oh, you told me I have it written down already. Choose one of the uh, of the damage types. So when you roll, you. Oh, have okay. Yeah. Oh, I rolled the two. So it is uh, cold. Cold. I love it. So ice. I'm a gray cold ninja. That fits perfectly. <laughs> um, so so I every every time you use it when you summon it, it cha- it might change. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, it's cold for now, so that's dope. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it two rolls. That would be uh oh wait shit sorry I did it wrong uh hold on hold on I'm doing it wrong so you get a plus one to your bonus uh to attack okay so that's a thirteen and a six thirteen and six to hit do I get do I get like my normal attack bonus yeah oh oh okay never mind then it's it's 24 a, it's a, and it's a normal, 19. It's a, normal, it's a normal bow plus... Um, so I get like my normal abilities plus yeah, the extra. Yeah. I'm not going backwards. Plus yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so it's a, it would be a 18 and a 23. The tie goes to the Kraken. So one hit. One hit. Okay, and then are we... Could I consider like the tentacles separate things still or no? No, it's all one. It's all one thing now. Okay, so one damage would be. If you want, to, are you asking that because you want to shoot him twice? No, I already can shoot him twice. I'm asking because I want to shoot him a third time. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll let that. You can you can view it as a separate. That's fine. Okay, then I'll give him another blast at twenty one, so that'll hit. So I'll give him two blasts. Seven and eight plus the bonus damage of two, the B fifteen. So nineteen damage to the kraken from inside the hole. Target must make a dexterity saving throw. Anytime I attack. Uh, no, he gets so this guy is going to get a four D ten bludgeoning damage, and then it'll be it's not just normal. I'm sorry, the damage is different. So it's a four D ten bludgeoning damage, which he's immune to, but it's also okay. Uh, 4d10 plus the 4d10 damage of the selected type. So he gets 4d10 ice damage. Oh, so it's not it's not my normal damage. So no. 4d10. That would be 18. So basically the same. Yeah. All right. So Kraken takes first damage to Kraken. Um, the he, nothing happens. Nothing. Oh, it's 4d10 per per attack though. Oh shit! Okay, so how much was yeah. it? So hold on. So that's eighteen plus. So that's thirty-one total. Okay. So his tentacle freezes and then unfreezes, and the ice shatter. And the tentacle moves like breaks out of the ice and the ice. Okay. Freezes. Okay. So it's how much was it? Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. And I end my turn in the safe space. Um. Morale the ship. Fails again. One more fail. You have six seconds, guys. Um, and it's now uh, bu- 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 Aaron's turn. Aaron? Sorry, I'm here. Uh, I you know what? am going to so we can breathe in the water. I need to get so close to this fucking guy. Um... Hmm. All right, I'm going to swim over, what is it, double, 
I'm gonna swim back over to this rock. I'm swimming this this 55 inches, so I've got about five feet left, so I can't get to the top. Oh, um, and then I'm gonna no, no, no. I'm so I'm gonna swim around to this side of the rock. Um, and I'll use I'll use double my movement for that. Uh, my character just fell off the map. That's all right. I'll, I'll recreate him. Cool. But yeah, I'm on the other side of this rock. I'm not on top of it yet. Okay. That's all I got. That's all I can do. He threw me. Um, he threw me, guys. I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, brag about how powerful this creature is. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to use a legendary action called Ink Cloud. And okay. It excretes a ink in a 60 foot radius around him, um, which pretty much reaches, I'll just draw it, uh, reaches the rock. I think this is 30. He's, let's just measure it out so we can't really. So this is 20. And that's 40. Yeah. So it reaches the rock. It reaches the front side of the rock. Yeah, the front side of the rock. And um, any creature in there, each creature other than <laughs> at the end of its turn there must succeed a DC 23 constitution saving throw or take some poisoning damage on a failed say and ha half of it on a successful say. And it's a 3D10 poison damage. A strong current can disperse it. So anyone that's uh, capable of um you know doing that doing that can do that um but if you're in the water at the end of your turn you know do some shit you mm -hmm. might be in a sticky inky situation uh okay so it's now jake's turn Two turns left still. One turn left. How many turns left? Uh, Chris said 60 seconds. Oh, until you, I, you're at the end of this turn, you're no longer. No well, longer. You're, you're, done, you're, done, you're done at this turn. This is it. This is the last turn and I can't yeah. move closer. Yes. Um, we've decided we're just going to try and fucking kill this asshole, right? There's nothing else we can do. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Kill the fucker. Kill him if you got him. I mean, if you can. All right. I'm going to cast Summon Draconic Spirit. <clears throat> I call forth a Draconic Spirit. It manifests in an unoccupied space that I can see within range. This corporal form uses the Draconic Spirit stat block. When you cast a spell, choose a family of dragon, chromatic, ge gem, or metallic. Which, which kind of dragon do we want to guy have, guys? Uh... A good one, a big one, one that breathes something that's better than ink, or maybe one that can make this ink fire. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. How many people are in this ink right now? I don't know what the difference is between chromatic gem or metallic dragons. It's it just the different, um, like gold, brass. Some are, I don't know, they have all different properties based on breath weapons and resistances and things so it's what kind of weapon or what kind of damage you want them to do okay hey margo 
All right. Oh. Basically, I've created a dragon. You don't see yourself. That's okay. Hey. Did you summon a dragon? Yeah, I summoned a dragon. Which dragon? That's what you were hiding. <laughs> you were hiding. Let's say a chromatic dragon. Sounds cool. What the hell is that? The hell is that? <laughs> Get him. Get him, Jake. This is Valley. Valley sacrificed himself because he only rolled low. Don't be a Valley. Roll high and subscribe. Uh, chromatic dragon. Hey, look, it's a baby. I don't know what a chromatic dragon is. I'll get you. One second. What? How, what level is the chromatic dragon? The shiny dragon. Uh, well, I guess the level of the spell was fifth level, or is it my or is it my XP level? No, it's the level of the spell, right? Yeah. So fifth. Um, level. Let me see. The Jocratic spirit stats are in it. Uh, here, actually, let me look at the spell. That'd probably be better. Yeah, it's called Summon Draconic Spirit. It says armor classes. Oh, yeah, it's just, yeah, you use the stat block that's there. Yeah, so it's 19 is its armor class. And you can, and it's the 50, yeah. 50, 50 uh, hit points. Plus 10 for each spell level. No, yeah, so plus 10, so it's 60 hit points. 60 hit points. It flies. And then, it swims. So what? You want a chromatic? Uh, what is it? Let me see how it's up. Oh, the, so it's, chromatic is just like your standard color dragons, like uh, oh, red, it, blue, it, black, damage, green. Yeah, damage resistances uh, for chromatic are acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison. But you only get one of those types for the style of dragon that you take. And damage resistance for gem only is force, necrotic, psychic, radiant, thunder. Oh. I guess we'd rather it be something like acid or... So you can do it as a black dragon. So that's acid resistance and the breath weapon is acid damage. All right. All right, it's a black dragon, which is exactly what you have here. Nice. Jake, I'm going to give you a cool point. Is it a red cool. eye? Way to go, Jake. Where, where is it Where is it? Uh, summoned? Uh, as far as I, you know, and right in front of the fucking Kraken. I mean, it is a uh, creature. It has control over this dragon. The creature is an ally to you and your companions in combat. The creature right. shares my, our, my initiative count, but it's takes its turn immediately after mine okay. it obeys my verbal commands no action required by you if you don't issue any it takes the dodge action and uses its move to avoid danger nice excellent work and it's got 50 hp 50 hp that is it flies 60 feet it swims 30 feet nice oh we about to go in it's immune to charmed and frightened or poisoned can't frighten it. What you going to uh, do, that cracking bitch? It, oh, sorry, understands, it understands all methods of my communication. Uh, Jake, Jake is a half mind flare druid drow uh, ranger <laughs> who summoned a dragon. That's pretty fucking cool. When you summon the dragon, choose one of its damage resistances. You have resistance oh, yeah, yeah. chosen yeah. damage yeah. type. Spell. So what what type of damage is he resistant to? I said acid, I guess. Okay. The creature disappears when it drops to zero hit points or when the spell ends. And the spell is up to one hour. What's his armor class? Yeah. Is it just an adult black dragon? Not at 19. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to kill this dragon very soon, shortly. But okay. <laughs> Well, at least it'll stave off some other shit towards other people. True, 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 true. Or okay. Um, let's see. Jake, that was a cool turn. It's now the Kraken's turn. 
Uh, how <laughs> where is this, where is this okay. flying? How how above the water is he? <laughs> the is dragon? Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It looks like you what you have is, is about right. So the tentacles can reach him. Uh, I mean, he can he can fly. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's in range to hit the Kraken, it's in range for the Kraken to yeah, hit. Yeah, I'm sure those tentacles are long enough that they can come out the wind, the water, right? Like the I mean. Kraken is going to summon the rest. Well, not summon, but he's just going to. Um. Gonna wrap up goes after, the dragon goes after me, though. So does the dragon? Oh, yeah, you get to go. You get to go first. So the dragon makes a number of uh, rend attacks equal to half the spell's level, rounded down. Okay. Oh, it can and do it's it uses, breath weapon, too. And it uses breath weapon. So it gets two rend attacks because it was fifth, <gasps> so it's half level. Down. So melee weapon attack, your spell attack modifier to hit, uh, <gasps> reaches 10 feet, one target, one decent... Uh, okay. Weapon. The dragon exhales destructive energy in a thirty-foot cone. Each creature in that area must make a dexterity saving throw against your spell save DC. Oh, the wrens are piercing damage, so they don't do anything. All right, so then we just just the breath weapon. Yeah. So what's my the dragon shooting acid at the crack? It's that. your spell save DC, yeah. so whatever it is on your spells page. On my spells page. Yeah. My spells DC. Oh, 16. What is it? Deck save? A deck save, yeah. I think it's gonna well shoot. I think it's gonna work. Seven. Nice. Can't... How much damage does it take? Uh, one d six plus nine. All right. Okay. Okay. Wait, no. No. Han. Two d six acid. Two d six damage of a type of this dragon has resistance to. So two d six acid damage. Roll it up. Roll it up, son. Ten. You hear that? Yeah. All right. Ow, okay. Um, yes. All right, Kraken's turn. Um, this Kraken's going to eat my guy. Kraken is going to attack you with uh, the three. Wow. Kraken makes, so he's he pulls out his tentacles. Um, which are right under the water, so it doesn't really have to pull them out as much as just use them. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. One was the, at the rock. There. Actually, two are at the rock. So it's going to be. One, two, three, four, five. How many is he supposed to have? Ten, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got one more. Uh, your guy is definitely going to get obliterated here. Um, but it, it was fucking cool as hell, though. So, uh, great. So, Kraken makes three tentacle attacks, each of which it can uh, replace with a use of a fling. So he's going to take three tentacle attacks. So um, three of the tentacles um, are going to attack the dragon with a plus 17 to hit. So does a uh, 39 hit? <laughs> I would say does a, does, a, does a 25 hit. 39? No, I got oh, it. It's 20. Is it, it's a. I want to see that. Roll. Class is 19. 12, 12, 12 in set. In, uh, no, sorry, 29. His armor class is 19. 
29. Um, I said 39. I got hit uh, three times. There's a nat 20 on the last one. Um, so 3d6 plus 10. Uh, is he bludgeoning damage? Does he have resistance to that? No, just acid. And uh, cold fire lightning poison. Charm frightened poison. 3d6 plus 10. So that's 28 on the first one. And 18 on the second one. And this next, the last one's going to be the, the crit, um, which is another 18 times 2. Or no, plus, plus 10. So that's 28. So your your dragon is dead. All right. Good try though. It was a good. That was, that was great. That was sick. Thanks. Guys. You did some damage. He did. He did like what? Hey, Fifteen damage. See, Jake, your guy is so much more powerful now that you leveled him up to eight. Or now that he up to actually levels him up. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Oh my god. Um. Uh, Chris, you're up. Oh, oh you guys are no longer frightened of the Kraken. Excellent. So I see uh, Aranus do his speed swim behind me. I'm going to turn and uh, telepathically yell to him to catch. I'm going to throw a pouch at him with some stuff in it. And then I'm going to swim right up to the Kraken itself. Um, are, you, are you guys in water? Yeah. And you're throwing something, and yeah. Are you trying to catch this thing, or it does, can this thing float? What's the? It's it's a pouch with. Where is it? It's a pouch. Oh, what's in here? It has um, a spyglass, a glass sphere, a little bag of sand. You know, it's probably gonna sink, and a small green skull. All right, so you gotta. Uh, if if I can use a reaction to retaliate, can I use a reaction to mage hand catch it? To mage hand catch it? I think what you're gonna have to do here is roll the good old survival check. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you you'll have to use your um, athletics shit to throw it, Chris. And oh, okay. He uh, it's good enough that he catches it. Um, so it's. Uh, so strength, but six strength. seconds though. If it falls, um, you you'll still be able to see. It. Well, it'll like sit there for a second, I would think. Yeah, yeah. So let's see how far it can actually throw it. Is it heavy though? So like, how heavy is it? Because we'll, well, it's it also heavy. like a bag that has air in it too. Yeah, yeah. That's a sealed pouch. Okay. So no, that was a f uh, a three. All right. So throw you throw it. it, and it lands. It lands next to him. Okay. Then I'm just going to swim as fast as I can right up to the base of the Kraken. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to take off my necklace and shove it into my bag of holding. You already gave the bag of holding to the Kraken? No, I gave the bag I'm holding, not my bag of holding. Oh, okay. My bag of holding has the, is the extra dimensional space. Oh, okay. And I'm shoving my necklace, which is the extra dimensional space in it, and placing a bag of holding inside an extra dimensional space, such as the handy haversack or portable hole, or the necklace inside of this, <clears throat> uh, instantly destroys both items and opens a gate to the astral plane. The gate originates where the one item was placed inside the other. Any creature within 10 feet of the gate is sucked through to a random location on the astral plane. Oh, the shit. gate then closes. The gate is one way and can't be reopened. So, and right as I get ready to go, I'm going to telepathically tell Aranus, tell, spread the word of Talos. And I'm going to be like, Lone Star! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so there are no rolls on this one? The, the, the magic items explode. Wow. That's and cool. it just says it sucks. Anything in 10 feet, so me and the Kraken. 
You're going some to... real Armageddon shit. So some real I use Bruce my Willis first thing I do. I scream Lone Star. I use my each hand. I grab the oh. bag. I bring okay. the bag to me. Chris, can I? I climb to the top of this rock, and then I drop down on my knees, and I was like, "But it was morphin time." <laughs> it was morphin time. Chris, can I um, consult? Pause. You can I give you? <laughs> no, no, no. I, the Kraken's dead. He's gone. Can I give you a, a cool point first? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, for your <laughs> next yes, you can. For, your, for your next character to use. Um, mm-hmm. And also, Chris, you can have my two cool points. I transfer my. No, cool no, 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 no. They don't transfer. And, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> can I also give you. you just a second? to uh telepathically tell aaron what the kraken said in oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah what, what did you word? Say? your last words my last words are were oh yeah and the the uh the kraken said suck my tentacles little rogue <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> and i'm just like no oh! Wow. Wow. Wow, Chris. I'm going to look back at the skull and I'm going to go, I'm going to look back at that fucking magical thing and I'm just going to be like, another one of my friends is gone on this stupid quest. Um, uh, I Chris, feel like Spencer yeah, would be proud Tell of me where planning. the skulls are. I just start yelling. I'm just going to start yelling at the Zordon guy about the skulls because I'm pissed. I've lost so many friends looking for these skulls. I just lost my boy. I'm real upset about it. I've got his green skull in my hand. It's fucked um, up. Aaron, give me a perception check. That was fucking sick. What a fucking way to go. That was really good. I don't even need eat any brains. 18. Can I, can I get um, a perception check from Aaron? 18. There is something shiny and uh, green floating in the water. Where after so a big explosion occurs and you see sort of like a black hole suck uh, suck these guys in. Mm-hmm. Um, now, isn't doesn't um, also isn't technically they're still alive. I was yeah, they're say, still alive like, at yeah, random yeah, moments. Yeah, in pocket dimension. Uh, He's got a chance. I, I will tell you right now, Lone Star is dead. Oh no! Yeah, um, I mean, he got fucked up by a kraken. He just went and fucking one v one the kraken, like in will... the astral. Yeah, he's just in the astral plane, one v one with the kraken. I feel like it's fifty fifty. Right. Astral plane. In the kraken, I trust. You know? I, I trust in him. I feel like he could do it. You're like telling me that to console me, and I'm just mad, <laughs> yelling at the <laughs> skull, the phantom skull. I'm sitting in a little safe space that's floating above the rock. <laughs> I can't see what the fuck is going on. You just see me raging at the skull, yelling at him. Just like... I had just finally gotten not scared of this thing. Yeah, I know. Seriously, I was one turn into not being afraid of it. I mean, you guys could have just thrown your legendary items in the water and been done. So, yeah, on. but now we have them. Well, hold on. So, Spence, you said there's something floating? Yeah. All right, and... so I'm going to go get it. It is the green, uh, the green coin. So I take the coin. Yeah. Hold it. And I'm just like. So what is the astral? The Talos. The Talos. I drop it into the same pouch with the green skull, the crystal, and the sand. And I put it in my pocket. Oh shit! You put the skull in the in the in the bag. Could you plan that, Chris? Yeah. He did. He's wow. Yeah. Oh, He's we had some good board. metagaming. You would have you would have been proud of us. Um. Yeah, yeah. I started another chat so we can metagame against you. Now that you're dead, Brock. It breaks free of that spell. Free. Yeah. And Lord knows what he was doing with his. Um, Wait a second. What happens to your window? That, that goes away and you get bumped down and then uh, the m- nearest five feet to the ho- hole opening. Okay, so I get I get back into the normal Yeah, you, you get thrown out right where the, like as if you stepped out of the hole. 
Oh, okay, good. Um, sure, sure. All right, as you guys are regrouping, um, another... Uh, another Kraken so, appears. No, you see a shine um, over at the green um, rock. As you guys are trying to figure your shit out, um, there is a tomb, another tomb just magically appears on the rock where uh, Chris picked out his green um, ninja coin. And, tomb? Yeah, tomb, I mean. Um, unopened. Unopened. Let's go open that tomb. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Agreed. The waters, the waters are calm. Um, there was just a big explosion. There is no... The ship is still okay, right? The ship has... No, the ship is fucked up. The ship is... I know, but it's still... But I'll fix it. The it's ship still is floating. Not, yeah, the ship is not sailable. Um, it does have those motors on it, um, on the side of it. The entire okay. top half, that top portion of the ship is gone. It is what it is, uh, it, like it looks on the, on the ship. Your crew members are in there. They are definitely low morale. The kitchen is still uh, usable, if you like. All right. You know. Um, Get some fish going. There, there are some rooms there. <laughs> I don't um, have an appetite. Um, and there's a tomb, a green tomb. And I mean, we gotta go check this tomb. What, what uh, Chris? What is the astral plane in? So, if there's a chance, oh, that it's awesome. If the kraken can survive. Yeah, it can survive there, I believe. Because it's a here. Let me read it. I mean, does it? Uh, da, 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 does it have water there? Is what I need to know. Large bodies of water. Um, do, do they float in a bright gray void? Has no gravity, but objects retain their mass. And they can move weightless in the environment. Um. And the effects of time are slowed almost to a stop. Kraken's dead. Yeah. Creatures don't go hungry or age. Yeah, but he can't breathe. He, um, he, he just can't, he can't survive outside of water for too long. Okay. Uh, the physical I left behind. Does it suck in 10 feet of water? That's not going to be enough to sustain a Kraken. For no, that no you got, he's got to have his... You do know where his uh, where his lair is. So Lord knows uh, what's in there and how many wondrous items, treasures you can find. To the lair. Kraken priest. Wow, damn. You guys got a lot of points. All right, uh, you want to open the thing? Yeah. Uh, Chris, I'll open it. I didn't know have, this guy that well. Do you have a uh, guy created? No, I don't. I I thought of this plan like 10 minutes before the session started. That's sick. Um, do you want to use Baiham? Do you want to use what? Oh, I have uh, I have this other guy. Oh, oh well, hold on, hold on. I I got someone. I got someone. Hold on, where is he? Where is he? His, his name, name is his. Do you know what his name is? Bina. Trina? No, his name is Flint. My man Flint. Fucking Flint. <laughs> Are you no. serious? Flint. No. no. My man no. Flint. I'm gonna kill Flint as soon as <laughs> not, the Kraken's brother arrives. <laughs> you kill my brother that's how good of a character flint is um my name is kraken is he brother. a spy is he a spy that's meant to spoof everything that james bond stands for chris do you I can, want your own I, origin story do you want to i mean you could open this tomb and Open it. 
and open, open, open it and see what you find. So I'm open curious. The tomb. We open the tomb. Yeah, so yeah, I, I kick that shit. I come back to the and, with, and without with, respect for the dead. No, with absolute reverence. No, I push I push Aaron aside and I'm like, this guy's stuck anyway, and I kick his tomb open. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this guy. I met him like literally 36 hours ago. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> to be fair. We, need do, we need to do something cool. Yeah, we gotta. I, um, I, I need a. I need a book. One second. I need to. I need a book. Some treasure. Here, hold on. Are we still in you... morphin mode? I'm we are. Yeah, for ten like minutes. A... Well, Chris, yeah. Chris is. Chris right now is not in morphin mode. No, no. actually, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, he's dead. All right. But he died morphin, to be fair. He died yeah. as a ranger. He died doing what he loved, morphin. He died as a skull uh, ninja. He, he's the only one that got out so far. <laughs> of, mm -hmm. of the most recent team of rangers. <laughs> Do you yeah. think one of us could hold both two coins and double morph? You know, he's doing this. That's that's, I mean, you could try it if you want, but I, I, I I'm i too nervous. It. I don't want to try it. Yeah, I, I don't want to see what that's going to do to you. <laughs> um, I'm figuring this out in one second. Oh, where is it? Where are all the options? Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, someone roll me a D12. You got it. One second. So not a rogue and not a wizard. A D12? Or not a rogue and not an artificer. Yeah, a D12. Oh, not me? One. No, I'm talking no, I'm talking to myself. A one? Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, I thought it was one of those random ones, not like a how do I not like a higher the better oh. one. Where's the thing? Hold on. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. The only time I ever, I, I, I was reading about Krakens and how to, how to kill them. Um, the only like ones that I've, I read, uh, unless you were like level 20, um, were something about pretty much you have to sacrifice pretty much like that. How much HP did the Kraken have? Not to meta game too much. Uh, four hundred and seventy-two. Oh, we would have gotten him. Yeah, but non non bludgeoning, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, but once we morphed, all our damage was was magic. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys didn't oh. use your your. Uh, I was trying to. I was fucking sixty feet away. Captain, I didn't, no, I didn't get a chance to get back. Well, our our original plan with Ernest was even better. I think it was going to be amazing. Yeah. It was supported. sorry. I forgot how to make a character because I'm trying to find an option to figure this out. I thought, Aaronis, that would have been a, if you had gone close enough to him on like turn one or two, that would have been amazing. Or if Jake had gotten his roll off, that would have been awesome. I mean, honestly, yeah. if my if my astral plane punch worked, we would have been out of yeah. here. That's what I mean. One. Or if Jake had just blasted him to another dimension on like four seconds into the fight. Roll me. I'm the only one who didn't do anything cool. Everyone, roll me a d20 and add the add up the total. Ooh, I got an eight. Fourteen. Nine. So so far we're at thirty-one. Eighteen. Wow. So forty-nine. Yes, so much. Um. Uh, Rockville. Rockville, baby. Almost there. That's just crazy. Okay. This is hilarious. All right. So you guys, you guys um you, you, you see come out of the tomb. So you see you rip you rip open the tomb and a 
Cobalt Barbarian comes out. That's sick. And what's awesome. his name? What? Chris's new character come, pops out of the two of the new green tomb, and his name is um, TBD. TBD. Yeah. Cool.